Good morning, my Torahs Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Taurus? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Okay, Taurus, what y'all got going on, Taurus? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Taurus Collective. Taurus, what is going on with Taurus? Sorry, y'all, I caught uh, Kitty out of the corner of my eye down there. <laughs> I caught Kitty out of the corner of my eye. So, Ace of uh, Wands here in reverse and that uh, Strength card. Uh, Leo could play a heavy role in your chart. Heavy Leo energy here. This is... Um, this is sitting down and this feels like, um, th this is like a, almost a recharging of your strength, a recharging of your energy. This is kind of, uh, healing work. Um, I don't want, how do I want to put that? Um, uh, It's almost like it's not time to, to flip the switch. It's not time to, uh, to oh, <laughs> okay. I'm thinking the flux capacitor, right? It's got to build up energy before you can hit 88 miles an hour. Uh, those of you with the Back to the Future energy, Taurus, <laughs> if you know the movie. Uh, yeah, it's not time. It's like you've got to charge the battery, recharge the batteries, get things ready to go. I like that, Taurus. That's interesting. The Fool, uh, moving forward, unencumbered, with faith and trust that uh, you're going to be fine. The World card, a whole new opportunity, a whole new world, Taurus. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> what about this Page of Pentacles? The High Priestess, okay. So, this is almost like being guided to bring an offer in, make an offer. Uh, six of uh, wands here, Taurus. That's some fucking beautiful energy. That's some very strong energy. We got uh, three major arcana out of five fucking cards. Ooh. Okay. Now, you got the good news. Now, you ready for the bad news? Tower! And it was 2.52 when I uh, said that. So, we got the tower moment here. And a broken heart and the two of wands. Okay, so it feels like there could be a decision that needs to be made. Or a decision has been made, Taurus. We got the tower here. Uh, something coming apart in order for an ending to take place. We, there's some heartbreak here. There's definitely some heartbreak here. Um, broken hearts. But a stagnant. That two of wands energy. You know, this is like the full energy, moving forward, uh, getting a whole new start. So, bottom of the deck, uh, could be energy around you, uh, people that you're dealing with, uh, the basis of the situation, maybe that puts you in this positive energy. But it's coming from a tower moment, and the tower moments are good because the towers bring about the necessary changes. Okay, that's the way you look at towers, they bring about the necessary changes. If you dick around making a decision, that's when the tower comes. Usually when you wait till the tower comes, your, your choices are usually just one, right? So it's like if you don't make the choice and you don't take the action that's needed to be taken, spirit will come in with the tower and says, okay, it's time, it's time this energy changes up, it's time this situation changes. You've been it. You've been doing this lesson way too fucking long. It's time you move on. It's an upgrade in energy, especially if you've been dragging your feet. Yeah, this is just uh, an upgrade energy. What do you want? What are your dreams, Taurus? What the hell is it that you want? Uh, we got an energy here of wanting to to be free and just do what you need to do, do what you want to do, get a whole new start. Uh, page of Pentacle energy with the High Priestess and the uh, 
Six of Wands there could just be giving to yourself, giving to a new situation, uh, new opportunities. It is a new energy, can be um, an immature energy. For some of you, this is just, uh, it's not like lack of knowledge. It could just be a new situation, a new energy that you're in. Maybe a new lifestyle, a new life, a new house, whatever the hell it is, right? This is just new energy. Some of you, a new job opportunity. High Priestess there with the uh, Six of Wands. So it's like you know uh, where your happiness would be. You're trusting it. What's between the Fool and the World card? Ah, the Magician in reverse. Okay, let's let's clarify this and see what the hell. You know, that's that, that clarifies that Tower moment. If you've been, yeah, there's some conflict here. Because that, that's part of that Tower moment. Five of Wands there with the Five of Cups in reverse. Five five, right? When you don't make the when you don't make the decisions you need to make, and uh, Spirit, the universe has to step in. That's when them towers come. Spirit's like, come on, uh, we need to get this going. You need to get this new opportunity. What the fuck are you dicking around for? That's that magician in reverse, right? Uh, your thoughts are what you manifest. Um. These are not good energies, right? This is being left out in the cold. This is that three of swords energy. You see them three spilt cups there. There's some fighting, uh, conflict in between, uh, emotional conflict, could be conflict with others, work, love, life, right? Um, so here you are ready to start on this whole new journey with the whole new opportunity and you got it planned out. You, you see the victory lap, right? You see yourself winning in the end. But then it's like, what? Well, you dicked around too long and bam, here's the tower. So this is like, this is the tower moment, okay? Uh, whatever happens, there's going to be some conflict and some broken hearts, right? 5-5, five, five, expect the unexpected, but for fuck's sake, expect good. But yeah, the magician in reverse, if you're dragging your ass, okay? Whatever the hell you might have been holding on to, that, uh, you know, spirit was like, you don't fucking need that. You're packing light. Some of y'all, you could be packing light, right? The clothes on your back and what money you have in your pocket. You free as a fucking jaybird here. You're like, here we go. New opportunities if you want it, but you travel light. Because where spirit wants to take you is an upgrade. You don't need that old shit. Leave it behind. A magician in reverse. That's just the, the tower moment, guys. That, that, that moment that comes in where the decisions have to be made. Things have to be done. And it's a positive. It ain't going to feel good. But, you know, that's when you have the choice to do it on your own. Or spirit's going to come in and, and just make that decision for you. Nine of Cups. You're probably not happy wherever the fuck you're at. Right? Ace of Pentacles. It wasn't the payout you thought it would be, right? You went into the casino thinking you were going to hit the jackpot, and they just took all your fucking money, right? Took your money and your dreams. Now you're broke and wondering what the fuck is up. Here we got the Five of Swords, a lot of inner conflict. This is inner conflict. This is sleepless nights. This is beating yourself up. Why, why am I here? Why am I doing this? What is this about? Why can't I get the fuck out of this bed and do something? So, it, uh, it's going to be a good opportunity to heal, Taurus. It's going to be a good opportunity to move forward. And I seen 8.55 uh, when I said that. So, you know, <laughs> it's all in how you perceive it. It's all in how you perceive it, Taurus. But good's coming, but you got to ditch the old sometimes, right? You got to shed the skin in order to start anew. If you're feeling driven to do it. It's obviously a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. But it's all in how you see it, Taurus. He you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring, ring, ring. Peace, love, and light, Taurus.